So if we click on Drop Shadow, you can specify the color. So by double clicking, you can select color, make it lighter. Why don't we go for a deep blue rather than a black? And there my drop shadow has become deep blue. Then you've got the opacity, and what that does is it takes down the amount of transparency that uh, the, the effect has. And so it's at zero opacity, it's 100% transparent. And as you run all the way up to 255, it becomes fully opaque. Um, the next thing you can do is, I'm going to jump to size first. And I just want to show you, as I pull up size, what it does is it, it, it increases how far the effect goes from the edge of the object. But what you'll also notice is as you do that, it starts to lose some of its um, opacity. It starts to become slightly more transparent because it's, it's being pushed to blend further out. So to counteract that, we have the, the item above it called spread. And if I alter the spread, what the spread does is it alters the point at which the, um, the blend starts, if you like. So uh, the point at which the effect starts to take hold. So as I increase the size of the spread, you get a larger area of fully opaque before it starts to do its fade and blend. The next thing you have is distance. Now a drop shadow, if something has an angle, it can also have a distance. So the distance is how far from the object the visual effect is displayed. So if you push the distance out, you'll see that the drop shadow, in this case, moves further and further away. And if we keep it quite far away, and you start to play with the angle, you'll notice that the drop shadow swings around the object. Color overlay. And um, the way color overlay works is it takes the, the shape and it applies a full color mask over it. So it doesn't matter what color um, your original shape or image or button has, um, it will completely cover it from edge to edge in the color of your choice. But of course it doesn't stop there. You can um, manipulate a number of items on it, specifically um, opacity. So I can start to take down the opacity. Now it's just a white graphic underneath. Um, but if I wanted to make my um, graphic a nice red color, I would change my cover o color overlay. And there I have a red um, graphic. <coughs> So a practical use of it would be, again, my buttons down here. Um, if I come out of this and go to run mode. Um, my next and previous buttons use an orange color overlay. OK, so now let's go on to a few simple uses of the, um, the, uh, the effects in script. So no longer using the property inspector, now using code to set and uh, remove these uh, effects. So I've just gone for the five, and what I've done is, in front of you, you'll have all these buttons. And um, each of them just has a slightly different color. It's got the same effect, but I've changed the color just so that you can see it a bit better. So outer glow, dark outer glow, orange outer glow, blue, purple, pink. Pink's kind of not that easy to see. But in a stack, that might be exactly what you want. You want your button to glow from the outside. And let's just take a, a little look at the script for this. And the great thing about the new um, properties is, uh, is I think they are actually really very clear. What I've done is on mouse enter, I'm setting the properties and, and what I want them to be. And then on mouse leave, I'm just removing that property. So to remove the property, you just set the outer glow or the color overlay or whatever specific effect you want to use to empty. And that removes it. Okay, so we've gone over the basic effects. We've gone over how we can apply them dynamically in script. Now I wanted to show you just three pretty simple examples of how I can make them a little bit more interesting. So what I've got, first of all, is pulse glow. When my mouse is over it, I'm animating the, the outer glow to increase in size and to shrink in size and to increase in size and to shrink in size. It looks like quite a nice effect. I've added a touch of um, color overlay onto it as well so that when your mouse enters, it does look as though the buttons kind of change color. And I think that's actually quite a good effect. It's not my favorite of all the effects, but um, I think that actually works quite so well. I, I scripted this uh, solar system, I guess. It's not particularly accurate, but the objects move around on a circular path. And um, much to Kevin's absolute delight, um, I was struggling to write this, and he was able to help me. And so Kevin felt that he hadn't lost his coding touch. 
But um, I wasn't to be outdone because um, I can make things look prettier than Kevin can. Um, <laughs> and so I decided I would rewrite this once I'd figured out how to do animations and use some of the visual effects. And so this is what I came up with. 100% revolution visual effects.